everyone, welcome to sunny Bulgaria. I'm currently in a little town right on the Danube River called Silistra. We just got back from the outdoor market and I got a bunch of stuff. So let's see what I got. First up, this melon. It smells so good. It's very pungent. This cost about four lev, which works out to be about 250 or three bucks Canadian. Not too shabby. I got an eggplant, which I'm gonna cook probably today or tomorrow on this really cool roasting device that I'll show you later. <laughs> I got a couple peppers, nice red peppers. These are the kind that you tend to see a lot more around here rather than the normal bell peppers. They're also sweet, they're not spicy, but they're just kind of nice and pointy. We got a nice bunch of mint. I don't know what we're gonna do with this yet, but it smells good and it was one lev. And then I wanted some cucumbers and I put one on the scale to be weighed and I had one lev exactly and she just kept adding cucumbers. So I ended up getting four for one lev. So this is like 25 cents each. So in Canadian, that's like 15 cents each or something. That's crazy. I know that the cucumbers back home right now are like 2.99 a pop. That's it. Mm -hmm. What else? We've got some herbs here. So a bunch of nice big bunch of parsley. I'll probably use this for chicken soup. And a nice big bunch of dill. I can't remember how much these were each. I think these were about 80 cents each. We've got a few peaches. So one, two, three, four nice peaches. Bulgarian peaches, I think. And how much did these cost? 180. 180. One lev 80 for all four. Not bad. Wonder if people are looking out their windows at me. <laughs> I got three onions and a garlic for all of this together was one lev. Okay. We're almost at the pièce de résistance. This guy. <laughs> this watermelon costs six lev, so that's what, four bucks? That's a deal, it's really heavy and the key to choosing a good watermelon is you have to knock on it. Just a kind of heart and reverberating. Yeah, the reverb, that's what you're looking for. <laughs> you want a nice kind of like good deep, yeah. deep kind of ring to it. So that's how you pick a watermelon. Okay, <laughs> whoa. Last but not least, I got this amazing looking tomato, which is very exciting. Obviously, I'll be making Shopska salata with this, uh, or just tomato salad with cheese, because that's what I'm basically living off right now. And wait for it. Have you ever seen a tomato like this? 
this thing. This is like, this is enough to make Shopska Salata for like six people. One tomato, I think. It's a little bit juiced. <laughs> we need to use it <laughs> soon. I'm pretty excited about this one. So all together, my grocery collection came to, I think about 25 lev all in, mm -hmm. which is pretty good, I think. And I'm going to go later to the local shop and pick up some cheese. Um, we already have some eggs at home. Uh, what else do we need? We need some chicken to make chicken soup. So I'm going to do all of that later, but I wanted to show you my outdoor market haul. And I'm really excited to make a bunch of stuff with all these great ingredients. We haven't been cooking at home very much so far, but we have been eating some really good food out and about. Um, some noteworthy things are the Territor, which I always order every time I sit down for lunch. That's the cold yogurt cucumber dill soup that I've made on this channel a couple times, as well as Shopska salad, which I eat every single day without fail. <laughs> and we had some amazing donuts, uh, just like this little street side donut person, donut shop. Um, they were delicious with chocolate sauce and caramel sauce. We had this delicious childhood kind of open-faced sandwich called a princessa. I think I'll do a whole episode about those because I love them so much. And we've been drinking lots of Ariane for breakfast, which is like a really, it's basically like drinkable yogurt and banitza, which is such a nice breakfast pastry that's kind of like a phyllo stuffed with cheese. But now that we have all these groceries, I'm gonna start cooking at home. I'm gonna load up the fridge and we're gonna make lots of good things. So thanks so much for joining me in this episode. I hope you're excited about more Bulgarian adventures. I know I am, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.